Well, the elevator doors to the top six slammed shut before Odisha could get into it. So they will now have to take the stairs into match week 18 of the Hero ISL. Here the doors will open and shut once again and someone else will be left out. Diego Maurizio in space and Diego Maurizio has scored. Completely against the run of play, Odisha. Out of nowhere, one chance created, one goal scored. But I'll tell you something, Chennai will not be happy with the way that that goal was scored. They thought there was a foul a little bit earlier on, it wasn't given and play continued. Gurmuk playing out from the back again. No foul for me, Sal's won the ball. Mauricio though, a good yard offside, flag stayed down. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's uh, a big, big error from the officials tonight. Keeper's gone down far too easily as well though. Just needs to stand up and be big, but Mauricio offside there, clearly offside. That goal should not stand. Don't usually win points. Oh, they have a cushion. Thangwan, meanwhile, Chennai looking for a response, and response provided by Anirudh Thapa. That's how you score an equaliser. What a goal, what a fantastic goal that is. And that will please Badaric as much as it will please that man there, cheering on from the stands tonight. We said this season, Tapa has been given license to go forwards, and that's exactly what he does. Lazy, lazy defending from Odisha, because no one tracks him. He just looks up, he fires it in there. Who's marking Anirudh Tapa? No one has gone with him, and the simplest of cushion headers back across Amrinda. Deserved, and a little bit of justice, we have to say that for Chennai. What a fantastic goal that is. What a brilliant cross as well from Sangwan. Pinpoint perfection. Oiba, Gurmukh does well. Another challenge, but this time Saul Crespo rides it. Here's Nanda Kumar whipped into the box and into the back of the net. Isak involved in some capacity. But Isak Ralte in the right place at the right time. We've seen Nanda get to that position and just fire that ball along the ground. Strong challenge coming in there. The referee playing advantage. Didn't see anything wrong with that. And Nanda just doesn't look up, but there again, Vans Paul just gets caught. Ball watching, has no idea where Isak is. And Isak just sniffs him round the back of him to slot it into the back of the net and give Odisha the lead. That's what happens when you play a midfielder out of position and in a fullback position. He's not aware of what's around him. Vinci. Get past Narendra. Cleverly done. Early ball in. And once again, and now El Kayati. That's the class. That's the ability. And that is the equaliser. That is a brilliant, brilliant finish from Al Kayati. He does it and he makes it look oh so easy. But look at this from Vinci. He just puts on the afterburners and Narendra just can't keep up with him. Poor cross, and you can see there Toiber asking for offside. It's come off his own man. So there's no way in a month the Sundays he's offside. And all he does is he just helps it back into the area. But tell me about that touch. Tell me about that finish. Right into the bottom corner. He has a glance. That's the quality that this boy possesses. And that's why Chennai are back in this game. To all. It's been a great game. Uh, Vadaric and Gambao share the spoils at full time. It is Chennai in two. Odisha two at the Marina Arena.